This video demonstrates the Hall Assistant feature of Orca 3D and will point out some of the new features in the latest release. When we click on the Hall Assistant icon, we now come into the Hall Assistant library control. And here we see the three types of Hull Assistants, planing hulls, sailboat hulls, and ship hulls. If we expand the list next to one of those, we see now we have multiple sets of settings. We have the default Hull Assistant, the most recent one during this session, and any that you have saved. So here I've saved a 12 meter cruising boat, and if I expand that, I can see the values that went into creating that hull. If I select that hull, I can either create it directly, or I can go ahead and open up the assistant. And here we see the various settings that go into the sailboat assistant, the dimension tab and the shape tab. If I don't know what these settings are, I can click here, which will bring up the Orca 3D help the section that shows the definition of the various input parameters. And of course, by previewing the hull and varying these parameters, I can get a feel for how they affect the hull. With preview hull, we see the ISO curves for the hull. If I turn on instead preview sections, we see 21 evenly spaced stations down the hull, including the design waterline. And we can also preview the hydrostatics. And this will show various hydrostatic settings as I change these values. One of the things that's new in this release is that I can control which hydrostatic values will be displayed here. So if I click on values, I can scroll through this list. I can choose up to four different values. So I'll include the displacement length ratio and the wetted surface. And now as I change the length, for example, to 14 meters, we can see the effect that it has on all these various parameters. And of course, it's updating the shape of the hull in the background as I do that. Once I'm happy with the hull, I can save it under this name. If I wish to have a new name, for example, if I had said it was now 14 meters, I might want to change the name in my settings to 14 and say save settings. I can then create that hull and here's the hull. If we go back here to the library dialog again you'll see that you can select one of these and export it so that somebody else could use it and they would use the import from file function to bring that in to their library and of course you can use the delete to clean up your list of assistants here. And that's the Orca 3D Hull Assistant feature.